Tonight's top EU stories from the UNIT website include Obama says Britain should repair relations with EU before breaking away. German Eurosceptic Party is gaining ground. The EU is pledging 675 million to Mali as it attempts to rebuild a functional state. Europeans are increasingly fed up with the EU. And in our legislation section, how to free the EU potential for economic growth. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the Unit Nightly News. First, from our homepage, President Barack Obama waded into British politics Monday, suggesting that the United Kingdom seek to reform its relationship with the European Union before it decides to simply break away. The question of the United Kingdom's role in the European Union has been dogging Cameron and even dividing members of his own Conservative Party. From Obama's standpoint, Britain provides the US with an important ally in the EU. There is a lot going on behind the scenes here. Of particular interest is the connection between the EU-US free trade agreement and the deregulation of services, including healthcare. There are many that believe these moves are being driven by multinational corporates in a precursor to a healthcare privatisation programme. The Anti-Euro Party, Alternative for Germany, or AFD, was officially founded just a few weeks ago, but it has clearly struck a nerve. It already numbers 10,476 members, Spiegel has learned, some 2,000 of which have switched allegiance from Germany's established parties. In the state of Hessen, home to Germany's financial capital, Frankfurt, the FDP has even lost a seat in the regional parliament. Just this week, Jock and Paulus switched parties from the FDP to the Alternative for Germany, thereby becoming its first representative. This dramatic shift in public opinion is representative of the recent council election in the UK, which saw the UK Independence Party making great strides in terms of voter support. On the eve of a major international donors conference, the European Union announced Tuesday it was pledging 520 million euros over the next two years to help rebuild West African country of Mali as a functioning state. The announcement was made by Jose Manuel Barroso, President of the European Commission, the EU's executive branch, who said the investment would benefit Europe as well as Africa. Interest in Africa have skyrocketed, and for good reason. China is looking to develop its own internal consumer market. Europe and the US already have a consumer economy. Economically, a low-cost source of primary and secondary resources is vital for global economies to continue to compete. That makes Africa politically an economic hot potato. The EU and Mr Barroso might be dressing the tar baby in a straw hat and breeches, but it's still a tar baby. Faith in economic integration in Europe has fallen. According to polling from the Pew Research Centre, fewer people in Germany, Britain, France, Italy, Spain, Greece, Poland and the Czech Republic now believe that economic integration strengthens economies than did in 2012. Disillusion is the most noticeable in France. In 2012, 36% of French respondents said they believed that economic integration strengthened the economy. Now, only 22% do. This report in our legislation section highlights that the debt crisis has created the need to adjust the tax policies in the European Union. Tax policy is a competence of member state national sovereignty and this must be respected. The report suggests a tax snake system which, instead of harmonising the tax systems, would coordinate them in such a way as to take account of the existing tax cuts and tax increases within the national systems. The report considers that the framework of the European semester would be a good basis for the functioning of such a system. 
Today in our video library, Syrian Girl scrutinizes the deepening crisis in Syria and looks at the political strategy and manipulation being put into play. I found the information about the tie-in with the EU and oil rather fascinating and more than a little sinister. So here is Syrian Girl's report, The Looting of Syria. I'm Rick Timmis, reporting for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there, and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the E Unit. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. Are you looking for a public speaker for your event? Our public speakers are happy to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area at no cost. If you would like to add interest and value to your group event, then get in touch with us via the Word section of our website. Join us in our live Question Time style online show, The Unit Interactive, broadcast live on our website, theunit.com, and globally via thehangoutshow.com. Join our community on Google+, and you can be part of the wider public voice, united in freedom, liberty, and independence. Simply join our community, the unit on Google+, links to the community page are below.